I'm making this video because uh, the ones that I, I have come across out there just recently, uh, it's pretty horrendous, the, the solution. Uh, it's pretty hideous, the solution that some people are suggesting to fix this problem. And uh, if you're having this problem, the stability control uh, car won't start, won't attempt to start at all. Uh, I am telling you, and it's specifically, if you got that stability control failure and the car will not click or start at all, I'm telling you, it is the ECU ground wire. Um, I'm telling you, and I just confirmed it because uh, this right here is a spacer for the ACU. And I installed this, and right after I installed this, it came up with that problem. Stability control failure, car will not click or start. And so I'm trying to figure this out, and uh, I thought maybe it was something I did because I took some silicon spray and I kind of did a little maintenance and sprayed everything, even though that's supposed to be meant for uh, conductivity. Uh, I thought maybe it was something I did. I didn't think it was the fucking spacer. But indeed, what it turned out to be was the ground wire to the spacer. Um, because I was looking on forums and I was looking at uh, videos of people. This is why I'm making this video because I saw people trying to figure this out and what they were doing was taking pins and needles and little wires and stuff and, and pulling the and sticking them in the holes of the connector plugs and they were kind of like in a way forced start in the car and it was uh, actually you know causing problems with other parts of the electrical system. It's like. Are you kidding me, guys? I mean, this is Saab, famous for electrical uh, sophistication, and you're gonna me you're gonna mess with that system even more. Anyways, so how did I confirm this was the problem? Well, I took this stupid thing out and I put it back together the way it was, and uh, it went back to working 100% fine. It wasn't a bad. I knew it wasn't the battery, because that's actually what I was for a split second. I'm like, is this the battery? Because it's kind of acting like. It's the battery, it won't crank at all. I mean, the lights and everything are working, but if it doesn't have that 100% power, it's not gonna crank. Well, guess what? I just bought a brand new battery three days ago. So, nope, not the battery. Um, and I've been trying to chase, fix, fix this ECU problem, because my ECU has been giving me problems. And I'm at the, at the stages of not knowing if it's fried or just uh, if it needs to be uh, kept from getting overheated. Um, and uh, so I'm t in the testing phases, and this was the first part of the testing phase, and get a spacer for it, and reset the code, see if it comes back on. Drive it a couple weeks, two or three weeks, see if it comes back on. Then I can get the damn thing inspected. Um, but immediately after I put this in there, uh, a car wouldn't start, stability failure. Uh, so it was the ground wire. That's when I figure it out. And an uh, another, th and th this, another thing, this is plastic. This is a oh, mother fucking piece of plastic. It's not aluminum like all the other ones that are, are selling. They're all aluminum. This one's plastic. I was so pissed off. I left that guy bad feedback. It's a piece of fucking plastic for a hundred bucks. The same as the aluminum ones. I only got this one because, I don't know, I like the color and I like the laser engraving. But that's it. Uh, I was a little suspicious because he didn't say what the material is made out of. But now I know why he didn't say what the material is made of. Because it's plastic. If, it's, if he advertised it as that, no one would buy it. So, no, I could have been not doing this right. He gave, look at all this crap. This is all stupid crap. Um, I don't know if they all come with this, but one thing, he did not give instructions for how to, how to put this in there. I don't know if the plastic is hindering the, the ground. I mean, because he probably certainly would, but he did provide me with this ground wire, and at first I thought, oh, what a great guy. He's giving you a spare ground wire. No. Um, it, but the thing is, I tried three different configurations similar to what the original was, and then this, and then I just, I, no matter what I did, I could not, it, with this spacer in there, I could, it was throwing, it was... It was throwing that code and not starting the car, and I put it all back together. It took this crap out, put it all back together, and then it's, it went back to normal. So, um, and just this being plastic, um, I, I don't know. I mean, that, that could be why he gave you this, so you could reroute the ground wire. But um, I'm still trying to figure this out, but... Um, 
I just wanted to get this video out there because I saw some videos because I you know of course when I was trying to figure this out I went and searched looked up videos and they were just horrible horrible people uh, people that are kind of like passing off this image that they are they're all technical and they know what they're talking about but all they're gonna do is waste your time and damage your car even further um, I knew I didn't have anything like that going on because I didn't have any problems until I put this in there. But anyways, and there is, I was reading on forums too, because this is how I kind of narrowed this problem down. Uh, I was reading on forums that uh, uh, one guy, um, his car was in a front-end collision, and uh, for some reason or other, that, that ECU area was, was prone to moisture, and when he took it out, he, the whole thing was corroded, and uh, including the ground wire. So, different situation, but same problem. It's that ECU ground wire. If you ever mess with the ACU or took it out, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There is a ground wire that goes right into this corner right here. That grounds the ACU. I mean, this is just, oh my gosh. This car, all right, now, now I'll just get into some kind of blabbing about this freaking car. I'm not new to this car. I've had it for five years, five, six years. To be more specific, I have three of these cars. Um, uh, a blue 2005, a white 2006, and a silver 2007. The 2007 is the one I'm trying to run right now because the 2005 blue one, which was manual, blew a head gasket. That was partially my fault because it was uh, I uh, the coolant system. I uh, you know I'll get I can get into that a lot later. That's a whole another story. But that was my fault why it blew a head gasket. Um, I was uh, I wasn't. It needed to the radiator needed to be replaced, and I didn't do it in time. I went the whole winter with just filling it up with uh, a really weak mix of antifreeze and water, and it uh, it froze. So I think that's what caused the crack or leak. Um, but anyways, so that's what happened with that. Um, the silver car uh, I picked this one up. Um, it's totally fine. Um, the only problem was it has this this ECU issue, which no one could ever figure out. The guys. Mechanic couldn't figure out, he couldn't figure it out, he got tired of throwing money at it. So I went to pick the car up as just parts, and um, he wanted a thousand bucks for it, but I'm like, it doesn't even start, man. It's, you know, a car that doesn't start is not even, is, is worth scrap money. And uh, <laughs> his girlfriend was with there, and she's like, uh, you know, they <laughs> completely agreed with me. They just couldn't argue with that. So he, he took it for 600, but he yanked the, the navigation out of it. Uh, the 07s, I think, come standard with navigation, the special Saab navigation, and uh, he, he ripped that out of there and then sold me the car for 600. Uh, I'm pretty sure he could you could easily get those used for three or four hundred bucks. Go to buy one new, it's like a thousand. So, uh, but whatever, I don't really care for that, anyways. Uh, but other than that, it's a good car. He kept up with it. Everything on it was working pretty good. Uh, he he did keep up with it. He was one that kept up with the car. Um, but the ECU problem, which is why I never actually, because otherwise, if it wasn't for this ECU problem, which is just, oh my gosh, this freaking car, it's a good car, it's just too bad that uh, I'm up against, you know, big tech, big GM, who have seemed to have made every effort to make this car a pile of shit, while Saab was trying, making every effort to make this car the best car ever, so you got those opposing forces, and then, uh, that's why you have a ECU mount it to your fucking exhaust manifold and uh, you got people making these aftermarket spacer kits All right, so this is the correct installation for this uh, I got the, the ground wire so the original ground wire is on top as it was supposed to be and this extra ground wire is also there and it connects onto that throttle body bolt which comes out pretty easily so this is the correct set up for this and as proof the car is running uh, also uh, worth noting this thing I just took this off and so inside here everything's working good I'm low on fuel and uh, the stupid side markers which I don't like and I don't even need them are not working but everything else is good